Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Krista Fatusila, founder and director for Nankama, Pan-African Drum and Dance Ensemble. We have been in operation since 2005. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about the dance that we were just doing. That dance is called Lamba. Can you say Lamba? Lamba. Very good. Sometimes you'll hear Lamba, you'll hear Lamban, and you'll hear Lambangu. Okay? Same rhythm. All right? It evolved. It first came about in 13th century Malian Empire when the then emperor, um, Sundiata Kiata, commissioned his right-hand person, because all of the royalty and dignitaries had right-hand people who were responsible for keeping the history of that family, of that lineage, and of that civilization. And they would do it through song and music. So Emperor Sundiata said that he wanted a song and dance to commemorate the hajj that he would take with his subjects through the desert to Mecca. And so the big Shirts that we had on, they're called boo-boos. Can we say boo-boos? Boo-boos. Okay, nowadays sometimes people say booba, but that's not quite correct. It's boo-boo, okay? And the reason why we wear such big shirts and with a lot of fabric is because the dance is made to represent the windstorms that they had to fight through the desert and how it was whipping their clothing. So that's why the dance is so frenzied. That's why the neck is moving all around, the hair is going everywhere to commemorate what a struggle it was for them to take this holy pilgrimage, okay? So uh, we like to start with Lamba because it is so ancient. Let's do a little bit of math. So 13th century Malian Empire. We're in what century now? Very good. So we're in the 21st century now, and that was the 13th century. Then how many years old is Lamba? 800. 800 years old. Okay, and we're still dancing it. So originally it was played on an instrument called a balafon. That was your precursor to your xylophone. Okay, and it was made of wood and gourds and it was tuned by ear. We had a balafonist with us on Friday. Okay, that's a very special instrument. And typically you would inherit that. You would inherit playing the balafon through your lineage, through your family. Okay, so lamba was first just played on that and voice. So technically, it's the oldest rhythm to ever be played on these drums here. It was transferred to those later. All right, so now we're going to get you all involved because, as Ms. Amber said, this is not a performance where you just sit and watch. You get involved. That's most African performances. Okay, we're going to teach you a song. We're going to go to another language real quick. We're going to teach you a song called Fanga. Has anyone heard of Fanga? It is usually one of the first ones you learn if you're learning African dance here in America. So this song in rhythm was coined by Dr. Pearl Primus in her studies, and she went and traveled West Africa, and she learned stuff and brought it back. So she put together this song, Fanga Alafia Ashe Ashe. So usually when children are learning African dance, that's the first one of the first ones they learn. We are singing it in Yoruba language. Okay. So repeat after me, Fanga Alafia. Fanga Alafia. Ashe Ashe. Ashe, ashe. Fanga alafia. Fanga alafia. Ashe, ashe. Ashe, ashe. So basically what we're doing is welcoming you, wishing you peace and blessings as the alafia, and the ashe is let it be so. Okay, you may hear these words like a lot, okay? So we're familiar with call and response, right? Yes, I call and you? Yes. All right, so we're going to try a rough run, okay? So let's get a clap going.
volunteers to come up and you're gonna learn some of the funga dance. What a way to welcome you, right? Don't be shy. 